Hi, friends. Happy Friday. How are you? All right, my computer says that this is starting, so I'm going to wait. Oh, good, it's working. <laughs> Hi, guys. We had a crazy lightning storm this morning. It was absolutely bananas. Um, and I was really worried that we weren't going to have power for this, so I was gathering candles. Hi, guys. Happy Friday. We're going to start slow while everyone joins. Hi. I was just saying we had the most intense lightning storm this morning. It was wild. And of course, now we have almost blue skies. I can see blue skies in the distance. But it was really, really, really intense for a little while. I even called Brian, who was taking my kids to, to school, and I said, or our kids to school. I don't know why I said my kids. He was taking our kids to school, and I called him and said, come back. Come back. It's just crazy. Um, so major hugs to all of the teachers in Pensacola today who had to run car line. It's nuts. It was crazy. Yay. Okay. Well, welcome, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Um, Brian is home today with some buddies um, that are in town visiting, and they are right above me watching the Masters. So um, he takes off to watch the Masters every year for Thursday and Friday of that week because he is an insane golf lover and Masters lover. So if you hear people yelling, it's just Brian and his friends upstairs. Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. I know. I'm so glad I have power, too. Um, so I was saying earlier, as we were getting started, we had the most insane lightning storm this morning. It was so intense. It looks like we may get some bad weather, um, in the next couple of hours, but we should be fine for today's live. I didn't even do my hair today because it was just, what's the point kind of weather. Um, so I'm excited to get started. Yay for Masters Week. We do. We love golf here. Um, all three of my kids play golf and Brian plays golf. I've actually never picked up a golf club, but they love the Masters. And so if you hear loud noises, it's just Brian above us. I know. I love the Masters traditions too. I really do. Even though I don't play golf, I love to watch it. I love the traditions and I love the food. Who doesn't love a good pimento cheese sandwich and an Arnold Palmer? Okay, we're going to get started. Um, today we are talking about simple habits that stick. And I love this conversation because it is going to be a continuation from yesterday's. So I don't, I don't see a comment asking me yet. I totally expected all of you to come on here and ask me if I woke up at 5.30 this morning. Um, I did wake up at 5.30 this morning. I also stayed in bed until 6 because um, it was raining and it was lightning and we have a metal roof now and like rain on a metal roof. You just can't get out of bed when it's like that. Um, so it was a good morning. But yes, I did all the rest of my things and I have my little post-it note on the cabinet in my bathroom. So I hope you guys are doing it um, as well. It definitely felt good to kick off my morning that way. Okay, we are um, testing out a couple of new features on Facebook Lives today. And so I'm just gonna push this button and see what happens. Can you guys see this link? I can't see if you see it, but there should be a link on the screen that will take you to enter the launch day celebration kit giveaway. It is so fun. I'm just gonna show it to you really quickly. This beautiful Kuyana bag um, is so nice and beautiful and it's hand painted by Jess Bray. It has our Navy Hydrangeas pattern on it and you can enter to win this amazing bag along with one of every non-planner product that is launching. Uh, next Wednesday, and your choice of daily or weekly um, planner as well. Okay, if you guys have questions today, just put them in the chat box. My uh, awesome team, they're going to gather them for me and send them my way. All right, so today, let me see if I can take this link down. Okay, today we are going to talk about simple habits that stick, and I love this conversation. Um, I love this conversation because a lot of times, and I'm very guilty of this, we think that if we want to create change in our lives or if we have a really big goal or if we are working on bettering ourselves or whatever that might be, we, um, we kind of go like really hard. So I tend to be a little bit of an extremist. I'm learning this about myself lately. Um, I, I like to go really fast and really hard all the way in one direction. And so if I have a goal or I have something I'm working toward, then I tend to throw myself into it, like really enthusiastically 
throw myself into it. And what do we all know that happens when you do that? You tend to burn out, right? And so to prevent that kind of thing, what we have to do is approach routines and habits and goals as identity-driven people, not outcome-driven people. So if you think about things like, I want to lose 50 pounds, or I want to lose 10 pounds, I want to lose any pounds. If you think about the outcome, meaning the number on the scale, more than we're thinking about our identity and who we are becoming, then it makes things a little bit more tough because we tend to become obsessed with the end result and not pay a lot of attention to the process. And as we know that we talked about yesterday, we will achieve our goals, we will um, achieve the identity that we are working to become or working toward when we focus more on the process and the system than the end result. And so as we talk about simple habits that stick today, I want us to approach these things from the mindset of identity more than outcome. And if you've read Growing Boldly, you know that we talk so much in the book about understanding yourself and understanding who you are tr really truly inside and then who you are becoming so that we can gather all of the little bricks, all of the little building blocks along the way, and these are simple habits, gather all these little things, the things that make us happy, the things that fill us up, the things that make us tick, the, the type of person we want to become, the simple habits we'd like to implement in our lives. These are all these little bricks that we are going to uncover and then gather to build the life we love, okay? When I wrote Growing Boldly, I wrote it about building a life, not reaching a goal on purpose, because I think that there's so much life to be lived in the journey, in the process. And when we ignore that and we focus just on what's at the finish line, we miss out on so much. And we also don't have enough space for grace when we mess up along the way, because we're going to, right? Like this morning, I was like, I'm not getting out of bed at 5.30 when it's raining on my metal roof and I can lay here and listen to it. Um, that kind of thing, we have to have space for that, right? So, all right, let us kick this off. I would love it if you guys could be thinking about a few simple habits or even one simple habit in your life. And I want it to be simple. Don't, don't make, don't tell me a habit that's like really complex, but like a really easy habit that you've implemented in your own life that makes it just a little bit simpler, a little bit easier. This might be part of your morning routine. This might be part of your evening routine. This might not be part of any routine. It might just be a habit that you have that you've developed over the years that just makes life easier. And I will start, I will tell you one of mine. I would love it if you would tell me in... Um, the comment. The comments are really delayed for me today, but if you will um, put these in the comments, I'm going to share mine with you. So I was thinking yesterday as I was preparing for this live, what is like one simple habit that I've developed? I've told you guys about doing laundry once a day. Like that's something we've talked about a lot, but one like really simple habit. And if you kind of shake your head at it while you're thinking it, like this is so simple and tactical. That's the habit we want to talk about. So one of my simple habits that really sticks for me is when I am putting gas in my car, um, I'm typically, I've got all the kids with me, we're running around like after school to activities or we're whatever. Um, I will always go to the gas station that has the little thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where you pull the, the trigger on the gas pump and it will stay. You know what I'm talking about, right? The little thing where it'll stay. I, I'm like, whenever I go to one that doesn't have the little thing where it'll stay, I'm like, ah, I have to stand here. So I go to, I always go to the same gas station that has the little thing where it will stay. I put, I put the gas thing, in, the gas pump in the car, and then I spend, how long does it take to fill your car up? Just a, a couple of minutes. I will spend those minutes walking around the car. My kids, we have all the windows down, <clears throat> the doors open. My kids will gather trash from everywhere. And no matter how clean I try to keep my car, like, I'm shuffling kids around all the time, and so there's always so much trash in it. And so um, they will gather all the trash, all the cups, all the random things off the floor, and they will hand them to me out the window, and I will throw them away. And it's so simple. It takes 
it's so easy. It's just, but it's just something that's become a habit because every time I put gas in my car, I clean out my car and it makes my car stay somewhat good, right? Okay, I'm going to go through and read some of yours. Um, oh, JC says, I run a dishwasher, I run my dishwasher every night to unload first thing in the morning. And then the kids can contribute by putting their plates in the dishwasher directly. Yes, we do the same thing. Usually, I'll run it at night, empty it in the morning while the kids are eating breakfast, and then I have them put their um, dishes, rinse their dishes out and put them in the dishwasher. Vitamins after breakfast. Okay, I told you all yesterday I'm trying to get better about vitamins. Um, I, last night, after we talked about our morning routines, I took a bottle of water and I put it right next to where I keep my vitamins in the bathroom. And then this morning I went in and I was like, oh, vitamins. And while I was putting my makeup on, I took my vitamins and it was just, it was right there. That brings me to another really good point. And I have some notes on my phone, so forgive me while I look over here. Um, I was I was doing some research last night and I came across this story from um, a man that was talking about habits and he was saying that um, flossing is a simple habit that we should all do, right? And he was saying as he grew up, he always brushed his teeth and, you know, did what he was supposed to do two, three times a day. And, but flossing was something that just never stuck for him. And so he, he started thinking like, what are the barriers? And now this is a super tactical thing. Um, but he's like, what are the barriers that are keeping me from flossing my teeth? Like, why am I not doing it? Obviously I want to have clean teeth. I don't want stuff on my teeth and I want my teeth to be healthy, but why am I not flossing my teeth? And what he figured out is he didn't like the way that the floss felt on his fingers, that it looked like too tight um, or just felt weird. And um, he would always have to go find the floss like in the drawer. So he just didn't do it. And so um, he said that he got a little bowl from his kitchen and he put the, you know, those little flossers you can buy that are already pre-done. He put those, he put those in the bowl and he put the bowl right next to the toothpaste in the drawer so that when he opens his drawer to get the toothpaste, it's a visual cue and he sees it and he's like, oh, floss my teeth. And it's easy because the thing he didn't like doing, wrapping the floss around his fingers, he doesn't have to do anymore. And so he just had it right there and now he flosses his teeth. So I love this because this is a way that we can take those simple habits that we're skipping or that we want to do, but we just don't do for some reason and figure out like, what is it? Why are we not doing it? For me, taking my vitamins, it was because I had like one vitamin in the junk drawer, I had two in the pantry, I had one in my bathroom. And so it was like a multi-step, got to make sure you take it in all the places. When I gathered them together and put them in, so they're the tower in our bathroom, the cabinet tower between my sink and Brian's sink, um, there's a little drawer right underneath it that sits on top of the, the bathroom counter. I put all of them in there and I have my little morning routine list right here. And I put the water bottle right, in, right next to it, and it's all right there until I do it. Um, and I love that. It's just, it's so easy, and it just sets you up for success. And just like we talked about yesterday from James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits, fantastic book, by the way, every choice you make, big or little, is a vote for who you want to become. And I, I love that quote so much because he is focused on identity more than outcome, right? If we want to lose 10 pounds, right? I, hi, I would like to eat healthier. I ate my feelings all of 2020 and I would like to eat healthier. So that has been something that has been on my heart lately. But I, being an extremist, tend to throw myself into it. Like, gotta diet, gotta, you know, work out an hour every single day or whatever. And what I decided to do was take that a step back and find that middle ground. And so what that means for me is every time I am eating a meal or grocery shopping, I try to make a conscious choice to eat something that I know is going to nourish me, that is going to give me energy, that's gonna sustain my energy and my blood sugar. Body Love is an amazing book, by the way. It really impacted me a lot. Um, and so I am just making good choices. I'm not, I'm not dieting, I'm not going crazy working out, I'm just making good choices. And that is not mediocre, that's just not on either extreme. It's just a simple habit, right? Okay. Um, Okay, I love this. Oh, the, who's the author of the book? It's James Clear. It's just so good. So good. Every Sunday, Kay says, I change everything in the house. Oh, I charge everything in the house. Toothbrush, massage gun, water pick. I also refill everything in the house on Sundays. I love that. I do the exact same thing. So on Sundays, I try to get us all prepared for the week. Um, and I found and this was many, many years ago, and if you have a Simplify Planner, you know we have Sunday prep, right, on those Sundays. 
that's intentional because I found myself on Sundays trying to do lots of little bitty habits, lots of little things that I wanted to do to get our family ready for the week ahead. And I wanted a little place where I could see all of those. Kind of like the list on the, hi, I love lists. Um, kind of like the list on the bathroom counter or the bathroom cabinet. Having that right there just reminds me like, oh, these are the things I want to make sure that I do every Sunday. And I can just go back and look at them and not have to reinvent the wheel or um, pull up out of my brain. Okay. Let's see. So um, also, I think it's important when we're thinking about these things that we dream we dream big, so we think big about the person we want to become, the life that we want to build, the that kind of thing, but we start really small, right? So if we, um, back to the being healthy thing, if we want to be a healthier version of ourselves, then maybe we start by drinking a glass of water every single morning before we have our coffee, rather than promising ourselves that we're going to drink you know, eight glasses of water a day. We start instead with putting a glass by the coffee pot and we have a glass of water every morning. Love it. Okay. Um, Stephanie says when the kids are done with their Kindles, they automatically go back on the charger so we're never in a jam of them dying when needed. Amen to that. We have a little charging station uh, stuck in a closet and our kids, when they're done with them at night, they always put them on the charger and they're ready when we need them. Gabby says, I take my medication before I brush my teeth in the morning so I don't forget. Oh, I love that. Oh, Michelle, this is a great quote. Small things done consistently make the biggest changes. I love that. I love it. I love it. Okay, Jen, I see your comment. She says, I have ADD and I'm trying to follow my planner, but it's been so hard. I have to remember to open it up in the mornings. All right. All right, team, sisters, let's help Jen out here. What is a tip? What is a tactical tip? for making sure that you're using your planner consistently. I would love to hear your tips, but I will tell you for me, it's that anything that I want to do consistently or use consistently, I have to have a visual cue. And for me, that means keeping my planner right out in front of me. When I am working through a devotional, it is the exact same way. I have to have it right out in front of me so that when I sit down at my desk or when I walk into the kitchen, it's right there and it reminds me like, habit. We need to do this. You know, we need to check in. I want to do this. This is who I want to be. So I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, oh, Kate, I love this. I drink my water before coffee so that I'm drinking my coffee for enjoyment instead of because I'm thirsty. Me too. I found that I was like, you know, your body like gets dehydrated at night when you're sleeping. And so in the morning I found that I was like desperate for coffee. But if I, if I have some water before that, it kind of, rehydrates you and then you're drinking water or you're drinking coffee because coffee is amazing. Okay. Brenda says it takes 30 days to make a habit. I love that. Okay. Here's some tips for Jen. Leave it open, open to the next day before you go to bed. Um, I also think it's a great idea to do, um, sometimes we struggle, especially working from home, like many of us have been. Um, sometimes we struggle with transitioning from like work mode to family mode or on mode to off mode. <laughs> And what I love to do is take just five minutes, 10 minutes to clean up my area, to look at my planner for the next day, see if there's anything I need to do before that, um, kind of wrap my brain around what's going on the next day, what my to-dos are, what my schedule looks like. And then so the next day I feel prepared, but I also have my planner open to see what's going on. Um, Megan says, I set my planner out by the coffee pot before I go to bed so I can see it in the morning while getting ready. I love that. There are so many good tips here. I sit once a week to plan out everything for the following week and everything I put in my iCal, check it daily, open on my desk from JC. That's great. Putting things away as soon as you were done using it. That is life changing. Speaking of, once I had this whole outline for this on my phone that I'm looking at, but I just keep going off, off track because this is such a great conversation. Um, one of the things, one really simple habit that we do over here um, is at the end of the day, I like to get our house back to square one, right? I'm sure you can all relate. Um, I like to get our house back to square one so that when we wake up in the morning, there's not just stuff everywhere, right? And so, um, and instead of constantly picking up after people all day long, which is 
like something I battle against all the time because I really just want to go behind people all day long and pick up after them. <laughs> but what I do is I take a laundry basket at night. I take a laundry basket and sometimes the kids help. Sometimes I do it after they go to bed and I will take the laundry basket, walk the house and um, I don't do upstairs. So upstairs is kids' bedrooms, playroom, downstairs. Uh, this level is our bedroom, laundry, living areas, that kind of thing, kitchen. So I will do this level and I will walk with my um, laundry basket and pick up anything that is out of place at all. It can be shoes, socks, trash, I don't care, toys, anything that's out of place, I put it in the laundry basket. When the laundry basket is, everything's picked up and it's in the laundry basket, the house is clean. It's amazing. Now I have this laundry basket, but it took me two and a half minutes to pick up all the things, right? So if I have time, I will take the laundry basket, dump it out, sort it by room, and go put everything away. If I don't have time, I stick the laundry basket in a corner and call it a day and then figure that out later, right? But it just, it just a little thing that like helps me as a person who likes neat and tidy order, it helps me feel better and feel better about the morning. Okay. Oh, Emily, I love this. A friend gave me a great tip. If a task takes less than one minute, just do it right away. Don't put it off. That's great. Love it. Okay. Um, all right. I also want to address one thing. that It was a question that I got yesterday, and someone was saying it was about morning routines, and I think this applies to habits as well. I get a lot of questions of, from let's say new mothers or um, moms who've just had babies or um, have little bitty ones at home who say, hi guys, I don't know why my camera does that. Apparently cameras, DSLR cameras, like to shut off after 29 minutes and then they turn themselves back on. Uh, yeah, so hopefully my screen didn't just go completely black for you guys. But I get questions a lot from people who are in uh, seasons of life that are tricky and that, that are amazing, but also maybe a little bit hectic. And their questions are always like, I have, it, you know, little toddlers at home. What kind of, a, like, I, I really want to have a great routine. I really want my house to be clean. I really want to, you know, get things organized and get in order. But like, how do I do that in this season? Um, or I really, like, I just had a baby and I really want a really great morning routine before my baby wakes up. How do I do that? And my advice to anyone in a season like that is it, embrace it. it. Absolutely embrace the season you're in. There are seasons where we can develop great routines and awesome habits and we can really work on ourselves and doing these things and getting life in order and our homes organized and all the things. And there are seasons when you should be on the couch with a little baby on your chest watching HGTV on loop, right? Those seasons are, are so short. They feel so long, but they're so short. And my advice is just to lean in. And maybe this is a season where you have no routines and your house is crazy and that's okay. That was my life when my kids were itty bitty. And it's different for me now because all my kids are in school, out of the house. Um, it, it's just a totally different season. So if you are in that season and you're listening to this and you're thinking like, holy moly, I would love to have these things. Like, how do I implement it? I just don't know how. Maybe it's not the right season. Maybe this season is a season for you to just lean in and let the house be a mess and just enjoy where you are. Um, there's a lot of joy and a lot of happiness to be found when we let the mess be enough. Um, there's seasons for that and then there's seasons for getting everything together. So whatever season you're in, embrace it. I think that that's just so important to say as we talk about these things. Okay, let's see. I have a quote I wanted to read you guys that I found yesterday. This is from um, BJ Fogg and he is the founder of Tiny Habits. And he says, if you plant the right seed in the right spot, it will grow without further coaxing. Hey, Whit, Whitney Hawkins, are you so excited? I'm using a plant gardening analogy. <laughs> I believe that this is the best metaphor for creating habits. The right seed is the tiny behavior that you choose. The right spot is the sequencing. So what it comes after and then what comes after it. The coaxing part is amping up motivation, which I think has nothing to do with creating habits. I, that line stuck out to me so much. The coaxing part is amping up motivation, which I think has nothing to do with creating habits. In fact, focusing on motivation as the key to having good habits is exactly wrong. 
Let me be more explicit. If you pick the right small behavior and sequence it right, so you place it in your day in the right spot, then you won't have to motivate yourself to have it grow. It will just happen naturally, like a good seed planted in a good spot. So I love that because it makes us think about where we position little habits um, and positioning them in the right spot. So yesterday I talked about wanting to work out in the mornings. I wish that I was one of those people that could like roll out of bed at 5.30 and go get on the Peloton with like, you know, wake up in my workout clothes and just go straight do it. But I'm not. I need a cup of coffee. I need my eyes to open. I need a minute to kind of wake up. And then I have my most energy when my kids leave for school and Brian takes them so I can go straight to working out. I know that there's a sweet spot for me there with energy that I don't have at night and I don't have early, early, early in the morning. And so if I try to position going on a 10 minute walk or doing the Peloton or whatever in a different spot in the day, it's going to require a lot more motivation, a lot more coaxing, a lot more work on my part than if I position it in that sweet spot that I know that I have from like 7.30 to 8.30. That's the perfect spot for me. So that's the good spot. That's where it's going to grow. And I think that that's something for us to think about um, when it comes to how we position our habits. Same thing for taking vitamins. I'm standing at my bathroom counter and putting on makeup, all, not every day, but almost every day. I'm at least brushing my teeth. And if it's right there, I'll do it. But if I make myself go into the kitchen and in a, you know, a cabinet in the back, I have all my vitamins way back there, and then I got to take them out and figure out which ones I take, that's a whole other thing. And it just won't work for me. So having them right there, positioning them in the right spot will help them grow and become not just a task, but a habit. Um... Okay, Zoe asked, what time do you go to bed or sleep and do you wake up early? If so, how do you do it to keep up the energy for the following day? So I tend to go to bed a little earlier than I used to. Um, last night I went to bed at 8.30. I was really tired after yesterday uh, because I got not a lot of sleep the night before. Um, we had some crazy storms and they were keeping me awake. So I went to bed early last night and woke up at 5.30 this morning but didn't get out of bed till 6. So um, my day tends to go from like usually like 9, 10 o'clock to about 5.36 in the morning. 6, not 5.30. I'm not there yet. I'm trying. Okay. Um, all right, guys. I think that's everything I wanted us to talk about. Oh, I did have a couple more notes I wanted to share with you. Um, I pulled this from, I think, I think this is from James Clear. James Clear's website, the Atomic Habits site. It's just so good. I mean, his book really changed my life. Um, he says, losing 50 pounds would be life-changing. Drinking eight glasses of water per day is a new type of lifestyle. So he's talking about things that are life-changing. We have to change our lifestyle to get there, right? Publishing your first book would be life-changing. Emailing a new book is a new type of lifestyle. So again, we're focusing on lifestyle to be life-changing eventually. Um, earning extra money each year would be life-changing. Working an extra five hours per week as a freelancer is a new type of lifestyle. Squatting 100 more pounds would be life-changing. Wow, that's a lot. Squatting at all three days per week is a new type of lifestyle. So I love that. Start small, dream big. Okay, guys, this has been so fun. I have questions from Dusty. Let me pull them up. Okay. Yay. Okay. Now we're going to transition and talk about launch day. So speaking of great habits, Simplified Planner is a great place for you to jot down in the notes pages or on the days, habits that you're working on as a visual cue, as a reminder. Um, our workbooks are also a great way, the brand new workbooks for new moms and also for wellness. One day I'm going to slip up and forget which ones we've just released and tell you the new ones. <laughs> I was just thinking about one of them. Um, but they have uh, lots of visual cues in there for you about um, all those simple habits that help you work toward that goal that that workbook is talking about. So um, let me see. If you are not on our newsletter list, make sure that you sign up. We send very beautiful, very infrequent emails, um, but during launch week, we send one every single day. And today you're gonna get a habit tracker printable if you are on our email list. So make sure you're on there. Um, and then today's giveaway, I would love for you to comment and just let us know which planner you are um, excited about. 
I have, hold on. I have a little, I have a little poll for you guys. I want to see how this works. I'm going to just post this. Can you guys see this? I want to know. Can you see? Oh, hold on. Okay. Can you guys see this poll? This is a new thing for me. I wanted to test it out today. Um, which, oh, I can see your, I can see what you're saying. This is so cool. Which type of simplified planner do you have your eyes on for launch day? Now caveat, the simplified planner coaching comes with the daily, the weekly or dapper desk, not the monthly. The monthly is meant to be like an addition to one of the other planners. Um, but it looks like most people are excited about the daily edition. That's so fun. This poll is awesome. Okay. Um, and then today's giveaway, we're going to be giving away a simplified planner. So you can choose daily or weekly. Um, I will call out this person's name at the end of the video. And then we just ask that you email taylor at emilylay.com today ASAP so that you can get it, um, get it sent out to you. I told you about the launch day celebration kit. Um, also we have new coaching for the simplified planners. So daily, weekly, or Dapper Desk, you will get access to our brand new uh, for Simplified Planner users only video library with 12 videos that are answering your most frequently asked questions about how to use your planner, what to do when you fall into a rut, what to do when you get stuck, how to organize certain parts of life. They're all in an Ask Emily format and they were so fun to make. So there's that. You can also take our Simplify Planner quiz. The link is in the comments here um, or in the caption. And that quiz will help you decide which planner is best for you, um, the daily or the weekly. And then it will also help you choose which cover style fits your personal style best. And it's scary accurate. It's so fun. Um, also, Taylor's going to be so proud of me because I keep forgetting to show you guys this, but these are adorable little gift cards that we had made in our new beautiful little happy stripe. And I am personally going to take five of these over to our warehouse, which is just down the street from me now, on launch day. And I'm going to be slipping five $100 gift cards into random boxes. So if you open your box and it has a navy blue envelope, with a gold heart on it inside, you're gonna find one of these and it will be a $100 gift card for you to use at a later time on anything in our shop. So I'm sitting out five of these, but I will be going over to the warehouse on launch day and personally slipping these into boxes. Taylor, I did it, I said it, I keep forgetting that I didn't today. <laughs> um, okay, y'all, this has been so fun. Let me get your questions. All right, let me... I'm gonna close the poll. I'm also going to try this. Okay, so if you have questions, I have not used this feature before, but I'm excited to use it. If you have questions that you've not already submitted in the comments, go ahead and put them here. And I think I should be able to see them on my screen. Okay, let me get to the ones that Dusty sent me. Hold on, I need a sip of coffee. Okay, Dusty said, what are, well, Dusty didn't say this, but you guys said this. What are the weekly ribbon colors? So I'm gonna do this real quick. Let me show you the covers in case you're new here. We have Happy Stripe. This is our new Happy Stripe. It has a light pink ribbon. Um, where do I wanna put these? Here. We have Dainty Dogwoods that has a deeper pink ribbon in the weekly. We have Navy Hydrangeas that has a light blue ribbon. We have our Carolina gingham that has a navy blue ribbon. We have fuchsia chinoiserie that is, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> and this has a light pink ribbon. This is kind of a, a middle pink. So we have light pink in the thin happy stripe. We have a deeper pink in dainty dogwoods and a medium pink in that one. And then last but not least, our Kelly green bees has a light blue um, ribbon and it is a lighter blue ribbon than Navy Hydrangeas. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can see questions here. Wow. This is so cool. All right. Well, let me get to these and then I'll get to those. 
Um, do you think Simplified will ever add a ribbon to the planner as a page marker? So we have them in the weeklies, but no, not in the dailies. In the monthly planner, are there any notes pages between the monthly layout pages or are the notes pages at the very end? That is a great question. These are our monthly Simplified planners and oops, upside down. And the notes pages, the 13 notes pages are at the very end. So all your months are together and then your notes pages. Um, someone said, how do you fit in me time? By the time the babies are in bed, I'm done. Well, how, how old are your babies? Because if you have little babies, um, me time is hard to come by. I get it. Um, that it's so hard. It, it is so hard. I remember when mine were tiny. Um, I fit in me time in a different way now because my kids are a little bit older. Um, and it, I just claim it. <laughs> I just unapologetically claim it because over the years I've sacrificed myself for others and it's just not a good burnout feeling to get to. And so I know now just deep in my soul that if I don't fill my well, I'm not very good for other people. And so I do that. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let me see. Uh, is there free shipping for U.S. orders on launch day? Yes, free shipping on orders over $100 in the U.S. only. Um, okay, let me go and look. Oh, this is just, can you guys see the questions or is it just me? This is just so great. I have 50 questions. Um, I won't be able to get to all of them, but I'm going to go as quickly as I can and get to as many as possible. Uh, Molly asks, what is your favorite new non-planner item? And my answer is this beautiful Grace Not Perfection necklace. I literally have not taken um, a day off from wearing it. It is so beautiful. It is launching on launch day. It says Grace Not Perfection around it, and it's $40. Um, Julie asks, what are the ribbon colors for each weekly? Okay, we just got that one. Um, Stacy says, what pattern do you think will sell out first this year? I don't know. Um, I So we've been watching the feedback and we have thoughts on what my a fuchsia chinoiserie is really beautiful. But there's been a lot of comments about the Kelly Green Bee and Happy Stripe and the and the others. I mean, I, t I tend to usually make a guess each year and be wrong. So <laughs> I don't know. I wish I had an answer. Will the workbooks be undated? Asked Casey. Yes, they will. Um, Allie says... Will new color dots be available on launch day? Team Simplify, can you answer that one? Um, new color dots are coming. Um, let's see. Do you, oh, Trisha asks, do you think you will ever launch a digital planner? So back in the day, in 2015, we attempted a digital planner until we realized that making an app is a really, really, really hard thing to do. And it's outside our wheelhouse. And we tried really hard. But basically, every time the iOS would update through Apple, the app would just break because it was connected with iCal. And anyway, it was, it was very un, not unfun. <laughs> and we just decided to get back to what we love the most. And that is beautiful paper products and paper planners. So never say never, but I highly doubt it. Laura says, will you be doing pairings this year? Yes, I will be doing simplified styling, talking about how we create our collection, pairing different things together on Tuesday. Okay. Um, also, make sure you're on that newsletter list because that is when you are going to get the simplified swatch book on Tuesday. You can print out all our patterns, all our colors at home, and do your own pairings as well. Um, okay, calendar your girl. Were there, are, are there any new products, Megan says, that won't be restocked for fall launch? So we don't restock uh, dated items, but we do restock evergreen items unless we are discontinuing them. Um, Mariana says, will all the new stickers be restocked after launch? Yes, we do restock stickers. Um, we, oh, Oh, good one. Good question. Will there be mini notebooks with the new covers? Yes. So why don't we, why don't, let's see, it's 9, 4, or 10, 40 your time. We have 56 questions. I won't be able to get to all of them. And I think this is a great question. So maybe we, we pause questions here and I'm just going to really quickly for anyone who's new or has missed a live, go through the new products. So we have new mini notebooks in all of the planner covers. You can see all of this on our website, by the way. We have a new gingham pen. This is the new gift pen which is so pretty we have all the i've shown you the weekly planners we have the daily planners these are the new stickers that come in 
all simplified planners. We have new Dapper Desk, our new teacher planner, which is so beautiful. Then we have new pouches. So these are new planner pouches in Happy Stripe and also Navy Hydrangeas. We have new pencil pouches in Dainty Dogwoods and also Fuchsia Chinoiserie. New workbooks. This is a new collection for us that we'll be adding to. This is the wellness workbook and motherhood workbook, and they are very specific and awesome inside. They're guided so that they can really be helpful to you. Told you guys about the Grace Not Perfection necklace that you might not be able to see. Um, the simplified monthly planners, and then page markers as well that are over here. So new page markers and all the patterns. And then last but not least, we have these beautiful clip folios that are also launching on Wednesday. And they come with the notebook or the notepad inside and they also have pockets. So that is those. All right, let me pop over to your questions and see if I can get to some more. Um, <laughs> Jennifer says, I love this. No questions, just loving these meetings. <laughs> me too, me too. Um, Ashley says, is there a lot of the blue trellis pouches left? I actually don't know, but I'm sure we have plenty. Shannon says, um, are there going to be new Happy Stripe pens? Not, not yet. We have not started making those, but maybe one day. Tasha asked, does Dapper Desk lay flat? And the answer to that is yes. That was very important to us in making anything that is book bound. So our weeklies or Dapper Desk. Dapper Desk is really thick, so when you get it, you just pop it open like that, and then it will lay flat whenever you're ready. All right. Um, oh, Bryn asked, what size iPad would fit in a planner pouch? I don't know. Um, you can see the dimensions over on our website, but I would not recommend storing an iPad in a planner pouch because it is not like a protective case. Um, it's more for preventing wear and tear than it is for like not breaking glass. <laughs> Okay, dokie. Um, Lee asks, are the new monthly planners dated and will more come out with the calendar year edition? So yes, we will have calendar year editions of the monthlies and they are dated. Um, we like our planners dated because dating them is a whole job and we don't want you to have to do it. Okay, did anything, Danielle asked, did anything in the pages of the daily change this year? The only thing that has changed in the daily editions is that we have new tabs, new tab colors that are so pretty. Look at those and how they match those balloons back there. And then um, we also added additional holidays so that our simplified planners better reflect our community and all of the holidays that they celebrate. Okay, you can see all of that on our website too. Let's see. Um, Melinda says, will you give a walkthrough of the new workbooks? Yes, I will quickly show you those. Um, so these, this is the wellness workbook. And inside, I love that it's got the wire O binding because you can just very easily flip it over on itself. So inside, we have pages that talk about routines, how you know, taking care of yourself, what works, what worked last year, what didn't work. It's really bright in here, so if you would like to see better, um, more up-close pictures, you can go to our website. But um, it's all very guided. It has a place for tracking water, um, nourishment, self-care, a smartphone detox, um, and then it goes into the monthly pages and the weekly pages. And then the motherhood has just two pages on pregnancy, and then it goes into having little babies, keeping track of stats, um, tracking your days, diapers, feedings, sleep, uh, your own wellness and how you're doing that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, Nora says, is the paper in the monthly planner the same as the one that at a glance had? And the answer to that is no, we use a different paper. Okay. Let me skip down. Oh my gosh, you guys are 64 questions. Let me just skip down and I will do one more. Let's see. Um, Jamie asks, would the teacher planner be a good choice for a homeschool mom or would you use a daily? So last year when schools changed and the world changed, um, we saw many, many, many homeschool or virtual school moms using our teacher planner. 
And I thought that was great because there's a ton of space, especially if you're homeschooling. With virtual school, we had curriculum provided to us that we were just kind of following directions and helping, you know, navigate our kids. But with homeschooling, yes, I'd absolutely say you could use a teacher planner for that. Um, and we also have a lot of pictures on our website of the interior pages. so You can take a look and decide how it would work for you. Okay. Wow, this was so fun, you guys. I absolutely love having this little question box right here. Um, and I will, I'll plan on doing those again for future lives because that was really fun. All right, I have our giveaway winner. I'm going to close this out with this. Our giveaway winner, if I call your name, please, please, please email taylor at emilylay.com. It's T-A-Y-L-O-R. Uh, and our winner is Meg O'Connor. So Meg O'Connor, if you would please um, email... Taylor at emilylay.com. Taylor is going to get your planner out to you. Just let her know which one you like, um, which cover, and if you'd like a daily or a weekly, and we will get that. We will get that to you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This was so much fun. Tomorrow is Saturday, and we're going to be talking about improving by removing. Caveat for tomorrow. These lives typically range anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, sometimes an hour, um, if we have a lot to talk about during launch week. But tomorrow's live is going to be short and sweet. So I'm going to keep us under like 20 minutes um, because I have three little soccer stars that need mom to come and watch them just dominate the soccer field in their second soccer game ever. It's not Brady's second soccer game ever. He's a pro. He's been doing it forever. But Tyler and Caroline is their second soccer game ever. And mom cannot miss Tyler Lay throwing himself at the ball. So um, we're going to keep tomorrow short and sweet. We have uh, Instagram live today at 2 p.m. Eastern time and tomorrow. And then the lives continue all the way through launch day. So I hope that you'll join me. Go and check out all the links. But more than anything, go to our website. We would love for you to check out all the new things. You can see everything up close over there. And um, make sure you, mar you mark your planners for next Wednesday, April 14th at 10 a.m. when everything launches. Bye, guys.